Hey, how's it going? Today we're modifying valves. To back cut or not to back cut? That is the question. Well, not really for me. I already know what I'm going to do. Basically, based on some advice I got from another guy, because of my camshaft, I am not going to back cut. And that's the most popular valve modification people do. You see, they'll add another angle, which helps with low and mid lift flow, but with my camshaft and in the overlap it has, I don't really want to increase that low lift flow because it could result in more reversion. And here's a here's a prime example. I have an intake over here that was off the car with the cam I'm going to use, and you can see here. These ports are pretty dark, and that is exhaust. It's not, I mean, it's not PVC, I run open breathers, so <laughs> just so you know, it's not oil, it's exhaust. So clearly, I have some reversion, and I don't really want to back cut my valves. Now, what I can do is I can radius the head of the exhaust valves a little bit to help some flow. Now, technically I've already done this video before but I screwed up so I gotta redo it again and I just need to get done so prepare yourself for rambly chaos because I'm just gonna wait. With the, let's just get it done. <laughs> here we go. Okay over here I got some valves set up and let's start off with back cutting. You can see here are two used manly valves. And on this one right here, there is no back cut. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong valves. Sorry. Over here, <laughs> I got valves, valves, and more valves. <laughs> so just bear with me. <laughs> Over here, <laughs> we have two used manly valves. You know, take two. <laughs> and you can see this one here is not back cut. This one I've given it a little bit of a back cut. And basically what it is is you have your 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 45 face seat and adding the back cut is just the top of that you add a little, little bit of a of a 30 cut. You know 30 ish, you know, depending you know what you you know you, you what your flow results show or whatever. I don't know. I'm not a flow specialist. I just know that 30 degrees is popular, but some people will tweak it to get a little more. And I don't have that fancy equipment, so 30 is good enough, or close to 30 is good enough for me. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> to back cut your valve, you can, you know, there's various ways. The way I like to do it is I will chuck up the, I will chuck up the valve in my drill press. Oh, is it the right way? Oh, that's the wrong way, dang it. I'll get it here in a second. I will chuck up the, the valve just, just snugly in my drill press, and I will take a file and run it across. As I said, you know, you have your 45, and you're just going to add a little bit of a 30 and give it a little more of an angle. See, over here I got a diagram. <laughs> Almost forgot. <laughs> and you can see right here, here's the 45, and here's the 30 inch back cut. And a lot of valves will also have more, uh, a little bit of a head cut, and that's what we're going to get into in here in a minute. I just want to point that out real quick. But normally, you'll get the valve, and sometimes it'll be like just like this bam, just a straight cut. Others will have usually this these days, but over here, you can see <laughs> the reason I said these valves out is they do not have a head cut. Let's restart. Take two. <laughs> you were warned. This video is not about back cutting valves. What I want to demonstrate is radiusing the head of my exhaust valves. Well, you see over here, I have drooped an example. We have the exhaust flow coming out of the cylinder and around the valve into the port. And you can see over here, this is like, you know, some aftermarket valves and usually an OEM valve where you just have like a sharp edge 
And what we're going to be doing is radiusing the, the edge on the head side of the valve to make the, you know, of course, the exhaust flow around it easier. Now, a lot of valves these days, I've noticed, have somewhat of a cut here. So, we're just going to be racing it slightly, and i got some examples over here real quick. You see, these are some old manly valves, and you should be able to see that they have a little bit of a, of a cut on the edge of the heads. Here are some sportsman valves, sorry, some valves I got on my sportsman two heads. The same thing, a little bit of a cut. Here's some other eBay valves. Same thing. And of course the Elgin valves I just got. Oh, and the even the 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 Reman Vortec crate engine valves have a bit of a cut on them. You can see right here on the intakes and the exhaust. And here's one of the Elgin, which there's the whole set of the Elgin I'll be radiusing. I'm only racing the exhaust because, in my opinion, well, the exhaust is dry flow, so you don't have to worry about, you know, it's just, it can be smooth. But for the wet flow of the intakes, you want it to be sharp to shear the fuel as it comes out. So we're not going to be touching the head side, you know, of the intake valves, just the exhaust. Over here, you can see. This is an old manly valve out of the Sportsman 2 heads that were on my car, and it does not have any head cut to it. It is just a 90 degree. So, give me a minute here, and I will chuck up one of those exhaust valves and give you a demonstration. Okay, one more thing I want to point out before we start this modification is over here I forgot to mention I have drew up a diagram and now in my opinion because I don't have a flow bench you know we have the flow coming out of the cylinder into the port so that's the major benefit of this modification but also we have the flow coming out of the intake port and it comes across you know the edge of the exhaust valve so I set up an example over here so you can kind of see better what I'm talking about. You can see right there, the exhaust valve is right as the flow comes out. And this is, you know, a OEM head, you know, just Vortec, you know, 1.9 valve for the intake and 1.5, I think, for the exhaust. So with larger valves like, you know, a 202 or a 208 and a 1.6 exhaust, they're going to be closer. So, just something else, you know, I think is a benefit. But, back to over here, we're all set up, and now, I'm going to be using the this, this smooth cut file for the for the exhaust valves, because you don't really need to do much. It's, it's already, you know, as we showed earlier, there's already a cut on the end, so we're just going to radius that a little bit more. And, we'll get to this, this larger bastard cut file later. So, here we go to the tripod. Now, once again, my valve is just snug in here. <laughs> I need to loosen. <laughs> just slide it in and snug it up. Don't crank it down. No need to you can break out the chuck. That's good enough. We're not going to put any, any extreme pressure. Right now, we're going to be more going up. But if you're doing a back cut, you don't want to be putting too much down pressure. You want to mostly let the file do the work. And you can use another method to do this. Some people will use a lathe. Others will take a drill and use the, you know, run the drill so it's on the grinder, you know, hit, hit, hit the grindstone. But I'm not, you know, this is the method I prefer to do. So here we go. Turn the drill press on. And I take my file and start from the bottom. And as I go, I'm going to roll it. Because we're just trying to, you know, not remove a ton of material. Just we're trying to radius it. I don't want to go, you know, over, you know, 90 and get into that 45. So we're going from, you know, the other plane or whatever you want to call it. So, here we go. We'll do a few cuts. We'll stop and check it and inspect it. Yeah. 
Okay. Give it some more. Helps if I go the helps if I go the right way. I was going right the first time. <laughs> and here we go. Okay. Yeah. Let's check our progress here. It's getting there a little more. Need a little more on the flat side. Oh. Maybe I did use the bastard file last time. Let's let's try the bastard. And another thing I forgot to mention is I went ahead and I ran online and it's good to chalk them up so I stole, stole some of my niece's <laughs> sidewalk chalk and I went and chalked the file up. That way the metal doesn't load the file up. Okay. Let's see what we got here. It's looking pretty good. Do a little more. Let's see, that should be good, I think. Yeah, it's got a nice little radius to it. And that's pretty much it. Got seven more to do. I keep going the wrong way. <laughs> Last night, I mean, I went in for a snack afterwards and started watching videos, and you know how that goes. So, here they are. Here's all the Elgins. Nice and radius. And the Vortex exhaust valves. You'll just have to trust me on those ones. <laughs> I ran out of room. <laughs> but I think they turned out nice. I mean, a few notes before I move on. Um, since the Elgin valves are stainless, I don't have to worry about oiling them. But these OEM valves, they're steel, whatever. So I definitely want to oil them up so they don't rust on me while, you know, until I get to use them. Also, the OEM steel were definitely softer and they filed down much easier. So just, you know, just so you know. Yes, these valves are harder valves. Um, the chalking of the files, I guess it helped. I mean, they still kind of loaded it up pretty decent, but brushing them off was easier, you know, quicker or whatever. So, you know, you know, I'll keep doing it. You know, we'll see. I did at least make my shavings nice and prettier, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. The last thing we're going to do is mess with the Vortec OEM replacement intake valves because they have this little bit of a lip on them as you can see and basically let's go over to the diagram here real quick my last diagrams you can see where we got the you know the, the intake runner here we've got the flow coming in you know more on the long side as opposed to the short side and it comes across the back of the valve so over here I drone you show you you can see a little bit of a lip, as the flow comes across, it's going to you know, get a little bit of a hiccup. So, basically, by removing that lip, it'll flow better across the valve. It would flow even better if I back cut it, but, you know, because of my cam and so on, you know. <laughs> so, next we're going to set up, and I'll demonstrate, you know, 
you know, not back cutting, but I guess leveling out, <laughs> you know, removing that little lip on these intake valves. Over here I have an example of one I've already done. And if I really want to, I could polish the whole back of the valve, but, you know, I don't want to put the time into these valves, so, you know. Oh, and also before I forget, here's an example of the lip on the exhaust valves. These ones, I don't want to remove that lip because, you know, over here, you know, as the flow tries to, you know, reversion, you know, back out, they, you know, that little bit of lip would actually help stop it. So, the exhaust valves were good, intakes, you know, not so good. So, <laughs> let me set up the tripod and we'll get started on those intake valves. There we go. This time we're going to try a different valve angle. And once again, you want to just, you know, snug your valve. Not crazy tight, just snug it. You don't need the key or nothing to crank it down. Just, that's good. So, I forgot to note earlier also, the rotation of the valve, you know, we're working on the side that's going towards me. So, you when we're pushing away, you know, running the file across, we're not, we're not going back and forth, you know, like you classically see in files. You, these files are technically supposed to be only used in one direction. So, you know, the valve's coming towards me, and we're going across, you know, we're going against against the, the rotation to help cut. So, this time, you know, I've reached out my file, and we're going to be going, you know, pretty much just level. You're not back cutting, just level, take that lip off. So, you know, here, we're, we're going to zoom in here real quick, too. I think I got this pretty much centered. Yeah, we'll give a nice close-up shot of this. Okay, here we go. Oh, on the inside. Let's check our progress. Pretty good. We'll just do a little more just to be, you know, we'll hit it with a smooth cut. I haven't shocked it, but we'll, we'll hit it with a smooth cut. Okay. Yep, that's it. We're good, man. Now, I hope this helps. <laughs> I probably should zoom out. <laughs> Oh, wrong way. There we go. This is really supposed to be, you know, be how to, just showing you, you know, how I do it and what I'm doing and explaining why. So, as always, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Keep it real. Awesome.